Try not to make this, put this one over here so it doesn't touch the other ones. Mm, you paid a lot of attention to the top of it, huh? To make sure it didn't go too high up. Good job. You're going to do the little O's, just like you did those, except you make them smaller. That's all. Excellent. So good. Now could you help me with the one? I don't think you need any help because I saw you do that tracing and it was excellent. So just do another small circle and keep it under the dotted line. Okay. Watch me, okay? Can you see how I do it? When I do it, I start at the top because I don't want to go any higher than this, right? Right? Um, Let me. You need to talk to me here. Mom, I did the whole No, you're not done yet. So look, when I do this O, I'm showing you something. I'm giving you a trick. Are you paying attention? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Come over here and watch me then. When I do the little O, I start my pencil at the top so that I don't go, I'm not going to go any further up. And then I go all around. I start turning around because there's my bottom line. And then I end it right where I started it. You try it. Start at the dotted line. Start it over here so you don't run into that one. Start it over here. There you go. And start a circle. Okay, try again. Try making it a little bit more round and not so long. You know how to make a circle, so just make a circle, but make it under the line. That's much better. Now do one in the middle of them. And try to make it touch the top and the bottom. Is this the top? No, I mean the top of the dotted line. But this is the top. Okay, of the I'm top. sorry. This is what I meant. Try to make it touch this line down here and this line up here. You see how mine touches both of them? Mm -hmm. Try to make your circle touch both of them. Very good. That one went a little bit where? Where did that one go? A little bit more down. It went a little bit more down than you had to, but that's okay. Do you want to try one more? Uh, I want to... No. Okay. I you did a good job. I can top it now. No, you didn't do the rest of your worksheets yet. You have to do that. The sorting. This one. <clears throat> okay. Draw a circle around the things that are soft. No, first I want to okay. this one. Draw a circle around the things that are on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at that. That's a really good circle. Oh, and you put an X. Actually, we need to put a square around the things that are off. I want to put up. But this is also practicing drawing squares, so you need to put a square around the things that are off. No, I'll show you that I know how to make a square. Okay. Wow, that's a really good one. That's an excellent square. Okay, I believe um, you. Oh, I'm sorry. I believe you. You know how to make a square. You can do an X on the things that are off if you want, but circle all the things that are on, okay? Mm -hmm. After I do these pages, could I, could I get some chocolate? And a sticker. I don't want a sticker. Wait, I do want a sticker. Yes, you can have chocolate and a sticker after you finish these two pages. I don't like stickers anymore because they don't feel good on my hand. Okay, well, we have to put them on the paper so that we can get our present at the end of the week, though, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so you don't have to put it on your hand if you don't want. So good. Okay. What else is on? The sink is on. And the sink is off. 
-hmm. Excellent. Okay. Now up here, we circle the things that are soft and put a square or an X on the things that are hard. So what's this? A lamb. And does that lamb look like it's soft or like it's hard? Soft. Okay, so circle the things that are soft. And the rocks are hard. Wait, what's that thing? That's a blanket. So blankets, they're not hard. And bricks, they are hard. Mm -hmm. And balls, are they hard? Yes. Are feathers hard? No. So go ahead, circle the soft things. Squirkle. Squirkle. <laughs> Squirkle. the other soft things. They are both hard. Did I do it good because I did the line a little bit darker? Very good. <laughs> Almost done. After the brick, I'm going to be done with this part. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do the next page. Good work. Okay. Now on this page, we could just move the page. We don't have to... No, no, no. It's not good to sit while you, on the table while you do it. Honey. Go back on the point. I was saying you're This is left. sorting. What's sorting? So, we have to pick all the things that belong in the sky. So circle the things up here that belong in the sky. I'm just going to leave the things that don't belong in the sky. Yeah, that's fine. Just circle the things that do belong in the sky. Birds belong in the sky. Wait, what's sorting? Sorting is putting things into the right place or marking the things that you want and not marking the other things. Mm. It's just picking the things that belong and the things that don't belong. Mm. So when you sort something, you put the things where they belong, right? Mm -hmm. So here, all the things that belong in the sky belong in a circle because that's the directions. Mm. Oh. A little bit it's sloppy, huh? Uh. That's okay. I want to circle that. What that, is that? That little guy because it's a baby lion. And baby lions are in the sky. I want to circle it and put a little X because it doesn't really belong in the sky. You're right, it doesn't belong in the sky. So you want to circle it to practice your circles and you do an X to show that it's not really supposed to be circled? Yeah. Okay. I like baby lions and looking like that. So cute. Yeah, they're so cute. Do a big X. Anything else that belongs in the sky? Clouds belong in the sky. Yep, I think that's a good place for a cloud in the sky. Clouds don't belong on the ground. No. They belong okay. in the sky. Anything else? Seahorse? No. 
Shoe? No. Okay. Underneath, you have to cross out the things that do not belong underwater. How, how do we cross out? Put an X on it. So pick hey, out the things hey, that... Is that a starfish? Mm-hmm. So you pick out the things that don't belong underwater and put an X on them. Does a fish belong underwater? No. So should you put an X through it? Yes. I'm going to ask you one more time. Though. Does a fish belong underwater? Oh, yeah. So should you put an X through it? No. Does a pizza belong underwater? No. So should you put an X through it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Do foods belong in the water? No. Do discus belong in the water? No. What else do we have there? Only three things belong in. Only three things don't belong in the water. Okay, and you can go ahead and put an X on those three things so that everybody else knows too. Hold the pencil the right way. No, I need to leave those things because but the directions say that you should cross off the things that don't belong underwater. No, I can leave them. So how are we going to know what belongs underwater and what doesn't belong underwater? Uh, we, uh, we could put circles on the things that belong in the water and then they'll know. Okay, but it's not really following directions, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to give you a sticker if you don't follow directions. The directions are cross off the things that don't belong in the water. Um, I need to steal you the things that don't belong in the water. Wow, those are such good circles. <laughs> Holy moly. Can I leave these? Yes. Can you I, can leave them. Can you I did a really great job. Can I get some chocolate now? And a sticker. Okay, take a sticker. And we'll put it on your paper. You don't have to put it on your hand. I want the orange. Okay. Wait, I want the yo-yo. I'll show you what day it is to put it on the stick on the page, okay? What day is it? Oh yeah, it's Tuesday. Ready to play?